if you've been you know paying attention to the Unity News, watching Unite 2022, there's you know been a lot of talk about dots coming in you know full force. They just created a release build or you know a pre-release you know version 1.0, which is crazy because dots uh, sounded so dumb to me for so long. I guess you want me to explain what dots is. Dots is uh, data-oriented tech stack programming for Unity, which involves using their new ECS or Entity Component System. It is supposed to, you know, it boosts performance, especially for large-scale games, and really just make the ultimate difference in everything. I mean, they have completely, you know, renovated the way that Unity programmers are supposed to program, which is a good and a bad thing. But one of the really, really cool things that it has is built-in multi-threading. So, uh, I mean. Going into projects, I've had a lot of issues where, you know, you're, you're running a bunch of coroutines or, you know, you have a thousand update loops and it's all in, in, in current Unity or the, the Unity that, that we all know and love. Uh, unless you tell it to happen on another thread, everything is happening and clogging up that one thread that Unity is running on. Uh, so that is where a lot of performance bottlenecks actually, ha actually take place. And if you look into, you know, why is my game freezing? Why is my game, you know... Why does my game get 10, 10 FPS when, it, when I'm trying to spawn 10,000 people? Well, the reason is uh, because Unity is kind of clogging up that main thread a lot of the times. I mean, obviously, everyone has their own games. But the, time, the things that I were running into, a lot of times were solved by multi-threading. And the good thing about the new DOT system is they have uh, jobs, the, Unity jo or the C Sharp job system, and uh, multi-threading built in for you. So it's just like as, as easy as scheduling a task and whatever your function is, is running, whatever your, your entity is doing is running and, and concurrently with other entities. So a big difference though, uh, something that we're going to have to get really used to is uh, changing from an object oriented programming structure to a, a data oriented programming structure. Um, the difference being, you know, we would create a game object, a class with, that would hold all of our variables, our methods you know, just the classic object-oriented uh, style, and then we would all run it from, like, you know, one class. You know, obviously, you'd segment your classes for, like, little tasks, right? That was good Unity and C-sharp uh, programming. So now it's kind of going into, like, three different components, right? So you have, you know, one component holding all the variables and one component holding the mono behavior that links the variables to the actual entity that's spawned, and then you have another component that's actually running all the functions and doing a lot of the logic. So it... it divides the load between different, you know, classes, structs, and functions. And with this, this kind of segmentation of the code, although it looks pretty, you know, off-putting to me as someone who's gotten used to the old way of doing things, I really feel like if, if, we, if we take the time and learn about it, uh, we're going to be very impressed with what's going on. I mean, a lot of what Dots is, is implementing into Unity is actually, you know, kind of forcing or, you know, not, not forcing, um, because it's really a lot more free freedom, but guiding you know the normal indie developer or, or the new the new person learning dots into using these systems that bigger AAA AAA games use, right? So you have you know level streaming to if you have an open world and you don't want to stream the entire level at the same time, right? You're not going to load one huge you know thousand meter map, right? You can load different segments of your map for where you are right now, right? Which is good for big open world, you know, single player and multiplayer games. So the fact that this exists and is being, you know, spoon fed to us is pretty crazy. You also have like asset batching and, and, and caching and, and logging things linearly on the memory. It's kind of taking a, a you know, a, a hint from C++ programming and kind of more memory management programming where you kind of allocate all, like a bunch of entities in a row on either the heap or the stack, you know, I'm not a memory man. Uh, but making it easy, easily accessible. And so the computer is able to read all of that in one line instead of having to go reach out to a bunch of different memory addresses and getting some cold memory reads. So that improves performance substantially and significantly. Um, one other thing that is not quite dots, but I've seen it used a lot with dots and actually is very helpful is uh, addressables, Unity addressables, which is kind of like... Uh, their little add-on that kind of that brings together, you know, the resources folder and, and all these different kinds of assets streaming from different uh, parts and kind of puts it in one bundle. So it looks to me like Unity is taking the stand and making bigger, larger scale games easier and more performant for the, le the, for the lesser users. They're trying to compete with Unreal and, you know, they're, they're well on their way. There are probably like three specific reasons I can think of that Dots is better than 
you know, the, the old system, they have opened their source code to you. So they let, you know, a developer actually go in and make changes to the rigid body physics system if they have an issue with that or, you know, any kind of, any kind of issues that they're having with the, the engine, you can go in and change that now. So that's a pretty significant jump, right? So they're going towards Unreal in the ability to like, let people do that. Another thing they're doing is they're letting you um, manage your assets. They're, they're basically spoon feeding you these, these processes that let you have better performance, things that people would have to create these custom systems for usually. Um, and it would take a lot of programmers or you know, one guy with a lot of experience and knowing how things fail and how things get better and you know, putting it into one package, right? Now I know the big question that everyone will have is uh, should I use dots? You know, as just a lo as an indie developer, you know, maybe working on a, on a on a project, it's not a it's not an open world one. I would say, for now, you could stick with what you know, right? But as with you, URP and the input system, Unity will release those, and they will have concurrent releases for a while. And as soon as they you know build it up to a point where they think you know this is what I'm going to do, they're going to stop support for the old one. So I would say it's never bad to learn the ECS or Dots, right? Um, and start implementing it now. I wouldn't go and restructure your entire uh, project if you're like if you're in the middle of one. But what I would do is you know take another take take a couple days and you know create a little demo project and see how it works. I mean, you can learn you can learn ECS and Dots on the side. It, to watch a couple YouTube videos, do some tutorials. You know, read the documentation, which I've actually found extremely en enlightening. Uh, they, it seems like they spent a lot of time on it and guiding people through because obviously it's a huge shift from how things are happening. Um, but it's, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's all you, right? So you just have to go and make a project, you know, let's start with something small and, and, and work your way up, see how you like it, see what you don't like, and, uh, you know, provide feedback to them is, is the number one thing. So I would say I'm going to start probably looking at it. I'm not going to transfer all my current projects over to that yet. But I'm definitely going to start building in, building in dots and seeing where you know I feel better and seeing if I can kind of get my mind around this because it, it is a big change. If you found this video valuable or you have any comments, you know, if, tell me what you hate about dots, what you love about dots, or what I got wrong. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not infallible. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and and come and join the Discord. Uh, we, you know, we have chats, we ask questions. It's a lot of beginners. It's and me, you know, and so I, I love the company of beginners, experts, advanced people. I'm always down to learn from more people. So yeah, come and join the Discord and just, uh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. I mean, that's it.